Well, you guys, yesterday I made a video on how you'll be able to run Windows 11 on older PCs, but I did mention that you would have to manually uh, install that using either the media creation tool or installing it via another method like USB and creating a bootable USB flash drive with Windows 11 on it or joining the Windows Insider program. But these older systems like you see here are pretty much done for and they're not going to be much cop once Windows 11 comes out. And the reason for that is because Microsoft have threatened that updating to Windows 11 on older hardware won't receive any updates. That means every device that is not on their supported list, like this one here, will not be supported by them. So when you go to update, what it's going to do is check your CPU. And if it's not on that list, it's not going to give you uh, you know, security updates or any really important updates, which you would get if you had a compatible PC, which can run Windows 11. Now, Microsoft have been a bit vague with their information, but they did release some information about updates on Windows 11 minimum system requirements and the PC Elf check app. Uh, now, basically, Microsoft have updated their uh, system requirements, but they haven't relaxed the system requirements for TPM 2.0 and all of the CPUs in their lists, which you can get uh, from the links in the video description. If your CPU is not in that list, then basically you are not going to be supported officially by Windows 11 and Microsoft. You are not going to be able to install it. Now, they've said that there is a loophole which you can use. They know that's there and they are not going to close that loophole. They're going to leave it open. But what they have said recently is that updating to Windows 11 on old hardware, even though the hardware may be able to use that bypass or loophole to get it to install, means that you won't be receiving any updates. Now, that is a big problem for people that are using older systems like, uh, you know, Dell Optiplexes, Vostros and all these old systems. And maybe they've converted them into gaming systems. These are not going to be compatible with Windows 11. So what does that mean to you, the consumer who wants to upgrade to Windows 11 when it's officially released? Well, unfortunately for you, if you've got an older system just like these ones here and it's not got the CPU on their supported list, whether it will be an Intel or an AMD CPU, they've said that they're not going to block people installing uh, Windows 11 on their system. You will be able to install it on one of these old systems. You just won't be able to update it. That means you're not going to be able to get any device driver updates. You're not going to get any sort of, uh, you know, security patches, security updates or any feature upgrades or anything like that on these old systems, all because of the CPU and Microsoft say that they will be able to detect these old CPUs. So it pretty much puts your old system uh, in the e-waste category unless you stay with Windows 10. So remember, if you've got one of these old office PCs that you've turned into a gamer or you've got a Dell Optiplex or, or Vostro or something like that that's been converted into a gaming system, then these are not going to be compatible with Windows 11. Even though you could be able to install Windows 11 on the system, it just means you won't be able to update it. And that's going to be no good to you. It's not going to be safe and it's going to leave your system vulnerable. Uh, so you do want to make sure that you'll be able to update that system. Now, remember, you can still use Windows 10 on these old systems and you can use those up until October 2025. There's always a chance that Microsoft will extend that timeline to a little bit longer. They have done it before in the past, which means that could go up until 2026 or even longer. Who knows? But you've got until 2025 to use these old machines. Other than that, uh, you're pretty much uh, scuppered for the Windows 11 upgrade for from these old systems, you can't do it. And the only way you can do it is by physically reinstalling Windows 11 on these old systems, but then if you can't update it, it's not going to be much cop. So we're back to square one on this one. So we just have to wait for more information to come from Microsoft. They can still change their minds. I can't see it happening. I think they're going to stand firm and fast on this uh, UEFI Secure Boot and TPM 2.0. Anyway, that's about it for this video. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a big shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now.